In the last lecture, you learned how to enumerate the properties of an object. Now, using this technique, we can get all the properties in an object and copy them into another object. So let's say we want to create another circle object, which is a copy of the circle object here. I'm going to call that another. So constant, another. Initially, we set it to an empty object. Now we can use the for in loop to iterate over all the properties in this object and copy them into this new object. So for let key in circle. Now we use the bracket notation to access a property with the given key. So we set another of key to circle of key. So basically here in the first iteration, key will be radius. So this code will be equivalent to this. Another of radius. So we're setting the radius property of another object to circle of radius. Now here on the right side of the assignment operator, we are reading the radius property of the circle. The value of this property is one. So we'll get one and put it in the radius property of the another object. Okay. Now let's log another on the console. Save the changes. So here we have this radius property is set to one. And here's our draw method. So if we call another dot draw, everything works as we expect. Beautiful. But this approach for copying or cloning an object is a little bit old. In modern JavaScript, we have better ways to achieve the same thing. One way is to use the object.assign method. Let me show you. So I'm going to comment out this few lines. We have this object that you have seen before. This object has a method called assign. Now here as the first argument, we can pass a target object, which can be an empty object or an existing object. You will see the difference in a second. And then we can pass one or more source objects. Let's say circle. What this method does is that it takes all the properties and methods in the source object and then copies them into this new object and finally returns the result here. So this line of code is exactly equivalent to these three lines. If we save the changes, we get the exact same result. Now this target object that we passed here doesn't have to be an empty object. It can be an existing object. It can have one or more properties or methods. So as an example, let's add a color property here. We set that to yellow. Now save the changes. So this new object has the color property that we initially had here, as well as the members of the circle object. So this is the object that assign method. Now, let me revert this back to an empty object. I'm going to show you yet another simpler and more elegant way to clone an object. We can use the spread operator. So another, here we set this to a new object and then use the spread operator, which is three dots to spread this circle object. Basically what this operator does is that it takes all the properties and methods and this object and puts them here in between these curly braces. So this is the simplest way to clone an object. Save the changes. Again, we get the exact same circle object as before. So here's what I want you to take away. Object.assign copies the properties and methods from one or more source objects into a target object. And we can use that to clone an object or combine multiple objects into a single object. And the spread operator is used to spread an object, which basically means getting all these properties and methods and putting them into another object. Hi guys, thank you for watching my JavaScript tutorial. This tutorial is part of my JavaScript course where you will learn all the essential JavaScript features that every web and mobile application developer must know. If you're an absolute beginner or have some experience in JavaScript and are looking for a fun and in-depth course that teaches you the fundamentals of JavaScript, this course is for you. 
This course is also packed with tons of exercises that help you master what you learned in the course. In fact, many of these exercises are questions that come up in technical programming interviews. So if you're pursuing a job as a front-end or a back-end developer, or if you simply want to have a more in-depth understanding of JavaScript, I highly encourage you to enroll in the course. For a limited time, you can get this course with a discount using the link in the video description. Click the link to find out more about the course and enroll.